What's going on ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. I am super pumped to open this box today. 2122 Panini Photogenic Basketball. So um, it looks like a lot of these boxes have been shipped out already. Um, I saw a bunch of videos. Looks like I think Pac-Man, Shy City Balls, Hitman Rips. A bunch of guys put up videos of this yesterday. Um, I thought my boxes weren't going to get here until next week. Um, I actually got two of them, um, but they were sent in two different shipments. One of them showed up today, so didn't wait any, waste any time. Going to get right to the video, rip this, and see what we can get. The next box isn't going to show up till next week sometime, so I might use the packs for that one uh, to include in some random pack videos. But I was excited before this came out, um, and so far what I've seen from the breaks, the cards look really, really nice. Um, so can't wait to check them out here. Uh, 2122 photogenic. So we're looking for rookie autographs and ultra rare dual autographs. So one thing I do like about this box a lot is there's no vet sticker dump autos. Every single autograph is either going to be a rookie autograph or one of these rare dual autographs. I have not even seen one of the dual autos yet, but do yourself a favor and look at the checklist. It's insane. There's a Luca and a Trey dual auto. There's a Magic and Bird dual auto. There's a Shaq and a Barkley dual auto. It's it's a crazy, crazy checklist. So I'm sure those are going to be tough to hit. There's actually a Ginobili and a Tony Parker duel, which is probably value-wise like the worst one there, but Ginobili hasn't had any autos uh, since 2017. So I'm excited to try and get that one if I can. Ultra rare shoe game insert. So this is, a, it's a die cut. I think it's the only die cut card in the entire set, and I haven't seen any of these yet. So um, that should be a pretty rare case hit. Um, and if we see a die cut anywhere in here, we know that we probably got something good. That shoe game checklist is pretty good as well. I think there's only one player on there that I saw that I really didn't, didn't get too excited for. Um, let's take a look at the back here. If anybody wants to pause that, you can see what we can get. So from what I've seen so far, um, there's not a lot of parallels. There's base silver and then there's anniversary uh, diamond. It's all diamond. I think they're all uh, cracked ice. This anniversary to 75 and the gold to 10, I think are cracked ice. The platinums I've seen, I think are like a, like a sunburst uh, rainbow or laser type thing. Um, there should be typically about one numbered card per box. Um, there's also numbered parallels of the inserts and then the one auto as well. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, click that bell for notifications so you get notified whenever we post new stuff. Just pretty much all the time. Did a lot of videos this week, um, but actually didn't do any. This is our first uh, NBA product we're ripping. We did some uh, Prism Draft on Monday, did a mail day. That's why I threw up this uh, Kobe and Ginobili in the background there, two of my favorite cards from the mail day. And we did some unlicensed wild card illumination uh, yesterday. But here's our 10 packs, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Five cards per pack, 50 cards total. And you can see there's only five cards per pack, but the packs are pretty thick. So the cards actually um, are a little bit of a thicker stock than uh, most, uh, most other cards. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it, see what we can get. All right, first card right off the bat, we got Luca Magic. Man, these things look awesome. It's funny that, you know, we always make fun of Panini for having horrible photos on cards, so they decided to make a set that was specifically uh, centered around good photography, but I'm glad that they actually did it. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, like, kind of mid-'90s Top Stadium Club. I know a lot of people have said that, too, um, but I definitely understand why, why that's kind of a popular sentiment. Chris Middleton, and you can see it's a thicker thicker stock card it's hard to focus when I hold a card like that but they are they are definitely thicker you can see on the side there so probably 55 point maybe 75 point but there's Luca base Chris Middleton this will be a would be a fun set to chase too. the entire set Jalen Brown nice photo on that one too and oh there we got Ben Simmons no action shot obviously uh, but there's him in his Nets uniform and the last card should be either uh, an insert a rookie or the autograph I think we get three inserts three parallels three rookies and one autograph something like that I think this is ooh, we got a rookie here and that's gonna be Joe oh, my guy Jaden Springer oh man of course he's the first rookie <laughs> first rookie that I pull 
So, and there are rookie inserts as well. So number 128, so this is the base rookie card. We might get some rookie inserts in addition to the three base rookies. But overall, um, I'm definitely liking uh, what these cards look like for sure. I haven't really seen it. So far, the breaks I've seen, I haven't seen anyone really pulling a lot of top rookies. And we're not off to a great start here with the Jaden Springer. There's Keldon Johnson on that one. Just I can't get over how, how good these cards look. They're really, really nice looking in hand. Wow. Ant-Man. Awesome photo on the Ant-Man. I'm, I'm taking so long to go through these because I'm going to stop and look at each of these photos. James Harden. Philly in-game action shot. Jokic. Uh, they probably could have got a better photo of Jokic doing something cooler. Franz Wagner just kind of not know, did not knowing what to do there in the background. Uh, this is going to be one of our silver parallels, it looks like. And that's going to be Dylan Brooks. So this is one of the parallels. You can just tell the difference. I actually like the, the gold better than the silver. They should have made the silver the base and maybe the gold one of the parallels. But the... Uh, and the little kind of icon in the corner there is silver as opposed to gold. So that's one of the one of the three parallels. So hopefully we'll we'll still get one numbered card in the box. And there's not a lot of numbered cards. Every numbered card is 75 or less. Um, so we'll either get a cracked dice of 75 or a gold of 10 or a platinum 101. And they got some retired players, players in here too. There's Steve Nash. Yeah, we got uh, Malcolm Brogdon. It is a little tough to read the names, though. You kind of have to tell them to get it just right. There's another retired guy, Dwayne Wade. And Giannis. And behind Giannis, we got, who is this? Cleveland Cavaliers. Do we got either, we got a Mobley, maybe? There we go, Evan Mobley. And this is, uh, should be a, a bonus because this is not the base rookie. This is uh, Rookies in Motion. And I think this set has this year's rookies as well as uh, previous year's rookies, um, like action shots from the rookie year. I think there's a Cavs LeBron card that looks pretty cool, but that's a really nice Mobley there. All right, try and speed it up a little bit now, just because we've kind of taken a lot of time talking about it and uh, slowly going through these packs. Oh, that was tough to open. All right, so still looking for the one auto and the one numbered card. Would love to hit a dual auto. That would, oh, I think, yeah, there's something shiny down there, so we might get a numbered card on this pack. KPJ, Stockton, Kuzma, really nice shot of Kuzma there. Oh, I know Panini's used this photo before. I think they used this on one of the timeless moments, Rodman, but I'll never get tired of seeing that photo. That's really cool. And numbered card on the back is gonna be. Hakeem Olajuwon. All right, so obviously one of the all-time greats, but this would have been nice to get a, a current player with a numbered parallel. It's going to be 63 to 75. Very cool, Hakeem. All right, let's hope we get a good auto now. So if our one numbered card is going to be Hakeem to 75, hopefully they gave us a good auto or maybe one of those uh, die-cut shoe game inserts. Not seen any die cuts in here. Got Lou Dort, Kawhi, must be from the previous year because I don't think he played it all last year. Uh, oh, we got Matumbo, Mount Matumbo with the SWAT. Brandon Ingram, and on the back, another silver. It's gonna be Gordon Hayward. All right, so not doing well with our parallels yet, I gotta say. And we're five packs in, five packs to go. So, I mean, while I like how the way the cards look, this box is not giving us what we want so far. But we're only halfway through. Still waiting to see what our auto is. Still no die cut in here. Hoping to see a die cut. PG. Got Bradley Beal. Kind of looks like he's taking a nap in that photo. There's another Gordon Hayward. Got another Dylan Brooks. We got base and parallels of Gordon Hayward and Dylan Brooks. And last card is probably gonna be an insert, I think. Not sure which way this goes. Luka Doncic. And this is pregame, I think. Yeah, pregame. 
So there's a whole insert set of pregame photos. Luca hanging out, getting ready before the game. So Luca insert, throw that in the middle. All right, four packs to go. Still have not seen our auto yet. Should be coming soon. And again, it's gonna be a rookie auto or a dual. Really cool photo of Tatum there. I know I'm gonna say that on every card, really cool photo, but I can't help myself. Tatum, we got some more old school guys. Got Anthony Hardaway, Penny. Kyrie, oh God, who knows what's gonna happen with that guy. And Cole Anthony, uh, let's see what we got here. Is this another insert? Oh, this might be our auto. Rookie, come on. Hey, Zaire Williams, okay, that's not too bad. Definitely could do a lot worse than a Zaire rookie auto. This one is not numbered, so there's the, there's the not numbered base. And then there are uh, some parallel, I think there's gold to 10 and platinum one of ones that you can pull out of these. All right, so we got our rookie auto, we got our numbered card. Eh, I mean, oh, it's been okay so far, but definitely not, definitely not a great box. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and pull one more numbered card. Or oh, I think we already got three parallels. We got, yeah, you know, we already got two silvers and a numbered card. So maybe a nice insert. Maybe we can pull a numbered insert. Because there are, there are parallels of the inserts. This definitely hasn't been the best box. Uh, no die cut. I want to see a die cut. Alonzo. Bam. Got AI, that's a pretty cool shot too. Kind of early years AI, you can tell with those old Raptors jerseys. Booker, and behind Booker we got Keon Johnson. So we should get some more rookies, I think. This is another base rookie, yep, card number 120, Keon Johnson. I think we might get one more rookie, one more insert. I think we got two base rookies, one rookie insert so far. Randall, Lamello, it's a really cool shot. I think I saw someone pull a cracked ice number to 75 of that card, which looked nice. Sadiq Bay, pretty cool shot on that one. Norm Powell, and we got, I think, another insert here. There you go, another Allen Iverson. This is from the first night, so photos of guys. I think a lot of the I haven't looked at the full checklist, but I know I've seen like a Ben Simmons and a Shaq, so it might be like number one overall picks. So that's a pretty cool one. Alan Iverson, I'll throw that in a second. Last pack. Can we get something to kind of save us? Yeah, definitely no die cut. Hopefully we can get, get a good rookie at least. KD, slamming it home. Halliburton, it's actually cool they have Halliburton uh, in, uh, in his Pacers uniform. Ooh, Vince Carter. This will be an awesome one. Awesome one in like a gold or the cracked ice of 75. Sean Kemp, another old school guy. And last card, last rookie, we got Chris Duarte. All right. That is going to do it. Let's do a quick recap. Let's take a look at uh, some of the inserts and rookies. Duarte, Keon Johnson. Man, we didn't do great on these rookies. Jaden Springer, Duarte, and Keon Johnson. I mean, I guess that's okay, but not <laughs> nothing really great. We did get a Luka insert, which is pretty nice. Um, and then our silver parallels, Dylan Brooks and Gordon Hayward. And then the, the hits, if you want to call them. Yeah, this was uh, not, not a great box. Allen Iverson got a Hakeem to 75. Did get a Mobley insert, and our auto was Zaire Williams. But still a really cool concept. I'm, I'm excited for uh, my... Uh, I hate when I do this. Why is the back? See, I this is a pet peeve of mine where I don't like putting horizontal cards in a sleeve like this, but the back is this way. So I guess that kind of is makes the most sense. But uh, that's gonna do it. Um, next box should be showing up. I probably won't do an, a separate video for that one. Like I said, I'll probably include those packs in some random pack videos. So we'll. We'll get surprised when we hit something uh, pretty nice out of that, hopefully. But that's going to do it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.